And so unfortunately, starting with this, I might put an emoji over my face, but it's May. My birthday was two days ago. I am now 23. I did not do anything in May. I just went to work. And then I went to a lake and took a picture. Anyway, today is one of my four graduations and I don't look how I want to, but I know that I can make something out of nothing. Also, I'm in the process of last minute decorating my grad cap. It is Cheetah Girls theme, specifically Cinderella by Cheetah Girls theme. Don't wanna be no, 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 no. Here are clips of their music video of Cinderella from the first Cheetah Girls. And that's a very special song to me. It is my favorite Cheetah Girls song, and I teach it to my nieces. They don't really care for it anymore. They suck. I don't know what time it is, but we're supposed to be going to San Francisco in really not close to San Francisco. And then the kick is, the kicker, the kicker. After this graduation, I'm going to work to help pay for the other graduations and the bills and such and such. This is a terrible month. Very expensive. And I think that's why my birthday went the way it went. Not that I hated it. It was pretty nice. It definitely ended beautifully. I was tipsy and eating wings, leaning a man on. It was just great. You're supposed to spend your birthday being a villain. I recommend that. Wow. I've never had a glow up a day in my life. That's crazy. I didn't vlog a single thing. Honestly, it wasn't much to vlog, but I'll insert a few clips of what I have. And then immediately after that, I had to go to work. Then I woke up today, which is the next day, and I went to work. And I'm supposed to go to work tomorrow, but I don't think I can make it. And did I mention I have a bunch of assignments that are missing? We gonna walk across those stages, those. <laughs> those stages will not miss me, I tell you that. You don't want to look at people? No, like I want to stay with Grandma. I want to stay with Grandma. Grandma got a lot of work. Alrighty, just a few little updates. Okay, so the other day I tried to, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, I probably didn't, but I have four graduations. One I already did, uh, May 10th. But speaking of May 10th, I found out like a couple days ago while I was going to get my um, tickets for the bigger graduation where all the students are going to go. I found out that on May 10th, someone came and picked up my tickets from the bookstore. Like when I went to get my tickets, they said, oh, someone already came and picked them up. How is that? I wasn't, I, how? What are you talking about? Yeah, so somebody was going out and I wasn't the only person this happened to. So apparently 
there's some people going around picking up tickets because my school has it to where you can pick up your tickets or you can send someone to pick up your tickets. We, you know, the people who are graduating have to show our ID to get anything for graduation. So I'm trying to understand how did a stranger come and pick up our tickets if we have to show ID. So anyways, I have to get more tickets. I don't know if that person is just wanting more people to support them for graduation or they're trying to sell tickets or they're just being fucking rude and hideous and evil. I don't know. But yeah, so right now, as you see, I just got my, my eyebrows done. Right now, I'm attempting <laughs> to install a wig. I'm doing um, everything very much last minute. I just got my dresses. Actually, only got two of the three upcoming grad dresses. For the last one, I think I'm just gonna pick something out of my closet because I had to fund this whole thing. I mean, I got my mom. My mom was sweet enough to buy one of the, one of the dresses. Love her. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm basically doing everything myself. I'm doing my makeup myself, I'm doing my hair myself. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow morning, which is the same day as my black grad. So, yeah, I've been watching little EK and uh, we're gonna see how this comes together. Right now I'm a little bit iffy. I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. By the way, if you hear the loud ass TV, I'm watching Guerra because that's what bad bitch is doing. Like this looks a little bit fucking crooked, but I will pull it together. Cause me and that man work hard for me to be here. So it's gonna come together. But yeah, I'll be back again. Look at these fucking nails. Look at my balloons. Shout out to mommy. Oh, bro. How we feel? This is about all I can show right now. This is about all I got. Okay. Ooh. I just came back from rehearsal, which is very late. I don't support that. I just got the tickets. Don't even know if all the tickets are going to be utilized. Honestly, I probably just robbed somebody out of their family, friends, lovers' tickets because I don't know if anybody come mess with me for. But yeah, that was very draining, very exhausting. It is approaching midnight. I have to get some sleep because I have a nail appointment at 10 a.m. So, yeah. And I also feel that I should get up early and do my hair and makeup and then go get my nails done. And I guess from my nails being done, I have to come back here get my dress and shoes and all that and then drive to another spot so that someone else can drive my car and we can all make it to the graduation because I have supposed to, I have to be at the graduation at four and it starts at five and doors close at five thirty and it's gonna be traffic and there's a there's limited amount of space and even if i did give, give people a ticket there's no guarantee that they'd be let in because once they reach capacity for safety reasons no one else can come in i'm already in a city that's almost two hours away from me from 7 to 9 p.m then i have to get up early the next morning do all this stuff and you want me to be an hour early and this is the graduation I was looking forward to most and it's the most emotionally 
and financially taxing one. Because I want to show out for my folks. I only got this cute dress. Want to see the dress? Let me look at the dress. It's emerald green, and emerald is my birthstone. We're currently in my birth month. I turned 23 on the 8th of this month, and now I'm graduating this month as well. So it's only right that I wear the color of my birthstone. You really can't see it in this lighting. But it's emerald green, and it's hella cute, and I'm like, cause fuck it. And mind you, I just installed this, like y'all saw. I just installed this and I straightened it. I only straightened it so it'd be easier for me to crimp. And crimping takes forever. So pray for my soul. Pray that I'm not irritated. Because I'm on a hunt for me a black nerd. I'm trying to pull a black nerd out of one of these graduations. I'm hoping it's this one. I gotta, my vibe, vibe check has gotta be right, you know? I was like, <laughs> y'all are tech and anime and all that. I love that too. <sighs> yeah. So, Cause it's just, I'm sorry, I'm back. It just only makes sense for me to have a black nerd. What else on earth would I have other than a black nerd to match my black nerd? You know? Yeah. I feel like I did a pretty okay job on this install. This is only like my second time or second or third time installing a wig. I feel like this is my best time. This, this is the best I've done. Don't hate I got these eye patches from my mama. I'm planning on using them for tomorrow because like I said, I'm, I'm trying to do my big one for my people. And to get me a black nerd, I'm doing everything in my power. So pull me a little salsa. Everything in my power. I'm trying to do my biggest one because it's my birthday month. I'm graduating. I've been through literal hell. This year, this semester has these last two semesters have put some miles on me and I mean that in which <laughs> I do I have a, a, a grad cap um, I'm not finished with it but let me show you what I have so far you guys did it's Cheetah Girls theme but specifically Cinderella by the Cheetah Girls yeah let's put her on I have this thing like it can just kind of get in the air. And yeah. It, 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 um, I also want to show my cap and gown. I'm just going to show every fucking thing that I have so far. Okay, I showed you my dress. Let me show you my other dress. Now I'm showing my cap and gown. Well, here's my cap. I'm going to show you the gown. You know how you'd be out and you'd be tired and then as soon as you get to the house you have so much energy? I should be asleep right now. I got up early for an interview. That was the shortest interview of my life because I immediately didn't qualify. What? Whatever. Here's one of my dresses. It's not even in one of my stoles. Sure I'm planning on wearing this dress the truth, with really the silver purse. And that's not all. Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you. No, my dog has a matching dress face. too. You are going to find that job. Get like it's fucking us. Black like sharp pain boy. Hello. And we Here is my cabin. Yeah. Here is my iron cord because what? a girl is a real scholar. The fuck. And here is. Some pins that I took off my stole from my community college. It says, take no shit and resilient as fuck, which I had no choice but to be to make it to this point. Alrighty. For real, for real. See you later. Alrighty. I am now 
on my way to the nail shop. What's the tank looking like? Actually, let me take, hold on. I don't want to mess my ignition up. I ain't got funyun. I mean munyun. I ain't got no munyun like that. So I'm just going to take this pepper spray out. It's a little hot out here. Hope my hair lasts somewhat. But anyway. Now I'm in route. Now I'm going to play my music. Do I look cute? I'll look cute later. So. irritating okay i had planned to get a full set and a pedicure but it ain't looking like a full set and a pedicure and plus now that i'm timing it out i don't even think i'd have time for a full set after my pedicure but i just got some press-ons in the mail hopefully they're not ugly so i can run across the street to sally because I live in a Sally neighborhood and get some glue. Hopefully there's not traffic because my anxious self was, I was in the wrong lane. I'm not gonna lie, but let me go. My hair fell. I'm back at the house and I guess I can either take a nap or do my makeup. But considering that I was falling asleep in that lady's chair while she was scrubbing my feet. Nap. I wanted like a baby pink on my throat. But considering that I wouldn't have the magic nails, I stuck to the basics. I'm kind of like really sad about my nails. Why my money counters look like this? I didn't have birthday nails. I don't have grad nails. What the fuck is going on? Okay, hold on. Don't look in my room. It might be messy. But I finished my cap. Here we go. Okay, about to hop in the shower. I just shaved my legs. Crazy, I got a pedicure with hairy legs. Anyway, yeah. I'm somewhat put together, all the fuck way irritated. People are late. And if they're gonna be late, I feel like I could have taken the train. It's like, I feel like I'm not gonna be there before four. So, yeah.
Cause we are sisters, we stand together. We make a one big family, though we don't look the same. Our spots are different, different colors. We make each other stronger. That ain't ever gonna change. Believe me, Mister. We're cheetah girls, cheetah sisters. Jasmine gonna text me and say, what are they gonna call names? How do I put this? Okay, nobody stare at my lace, that's all I can say. <laughs> Just don't stare. Oh gosh. It looks like someone cut my head open for brain surgery. What does that mean? I said you must have been sleeping all day. Oh, I thought you were asking who. Considering that my lace is lifting and my makeup is off and I don't have any makeup wipes, I don't think I look that bad. I'm gonna find out a way to take this makeup off and go to sleep so I can be rested for tomorrow. I have no clue where, the, where those makeup wipes are. Like if it's not where I put them, then I don't know. found the makeup wipes I just had to retrace my step I was like hmm when was the last time I wore makeup so I checked my um photos on my phone and it was my sister's graduation day so that was the last time I wore makeup and then something guided me to the corner next to my tv and I found We'll see y'all later for, I'm so sad. I, I really should have recorded something for the first graduation. This one was my second. Later on was my third. And then afterwards is my fourth. Also to my babies who I saw today, thank you so much. It meant a whole lot to me. Thank you, Zaya. <laughs> for my bracelet that low key says a curse word thank you for my poster thank you to everyone who showed up for real thank you to my sister we're gonna ignore that I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck <clears throat> thank you to my sisters my brother my babies my friends i love y'all so 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 much because y'all didn't have to come y'all didn't have to get me anything y'all didn't have to y'all did y'all did not have to pull up on me but y'all did and honestly now that I'm, i've started driving i appreciate people who put their key in ignition or hit a start button or whatever and drove to me because first of all driving is dangerous gas is high it's just all around, thank you. Just thank you. I have a new appreciation for people who get in their cars to come fuck with me or to go get me anything, whatever. Thank you. I love you so very, very, very much. 
And to my friends, please make me a god mommy. Make me a god mommy. Okay, see you later. Mira, get in my video. What? Get in my video. Okay. Where are you? Okay, it is the next day. Doug, clearly, I not even hit a clip before this. There's Tubby. <laughs> Today is the big graduation, the graduation where all the graduates as of my school is going to be. They're giving out doctorates and honorees and all this stuff. There's going to be fireworks and a whole bunch of stuff. It's the whole big shebang, and fireworks. I'm going to be bored. I'm not even going to try to stay up. If I'm propped up anywhere, I'm Actually, going to sleep. Actually, we going to the thing. She's... Hi, guys. Uh, are you vlogging? Yes. She So I said, are we going to the thing? She said, I don't know what y'all... I may be severely late to this graduation. I'm trying to quickly rush and do makeup in the car. They're going to close the doors at 5.30. No one can come in. And apparently, there's a fire on the freeway on the way to San Francisco. Gonna miss this one. I should have came in a hoodie. I'm so happy I spent all this time walking. Everyone, please join me in congratulating Dr. Dress all in my butt. I had to find my lash glue outside looking like a man. I have everything but my lash glue. But this is my process. Anybody want? I really look a mess. That's crazy. Um, I like to moisturize first. Usually I use sunscreen, but I ran out. So I've been burning up and ugly for a long time now. But yeah, I use sunscreen. And then if you want to just like look better, put powder on. So today I use moisturizer. You gotta make sure it's sticky. It has to be sticky. It can be dry. It has to be moisturizing and sticky. Anyway, I used a moisturizer and a powder. I'm outside in the cold, looking ugly. It's like almost nine. My rehearsal starts at 11.30. And the ceremony begins at one. I don't know how all the people that are trying to go are gonna go. I'm not sure if I have tickets. But I feel like I did a close to perfect park. Let's hope I found my last glue. Okay, I found my last glue. Damn it, hella glitter in the back seat and flowers. Okay, I'll go finish my makeup. By the way, because I left early and I kept my gown on like the entire little bit of time and I was at the official graduation yesterday and no one saw my dress, I'm wearing it again. Honestly, that's what I originally wanted to wear. I wanted to get three different dresses. But I'm a college student <laughs> with bills. <laughs> you can only do so much. So, recycling the dress. And I'm gonna wand curl my hair. Hopefully I can get it on camera this time. And hopefully they're tighter and cuter.
Okay, I don't know why the guns are high. But yeah. Is it cute? Ooh, this lace is so fucked up. And I so don't care. I went and found the smallest dresses I can find. Ooh. I don't know how we got booby. I matched my car. Me and my car are silver. Hey. Okay. Gotta go pick up the. It's hella hot in here. Gotta go pick up the driver. I'm pumping my own gas again because I'm not loved. Actually walking out of the car. I'm Inzaya. Can't even see. Let me check out this one. Oh my god. Oh, it's stuck with by the hey, y'all. It's Kim here. Uh, go follow my Instagram, uh, keep it private underscore K. Don't like, follow that. Don't, don't. Let me see. <laughs> uh, so honest, baby. Uh, 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 it's the oldest niece. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> it's the oldest niece. Why are you turning Wait, it it's like the third. That? No, it's the fourth. It's the fourth. It used to be third. No one cares about you. You are known. In a pre-graduate. Pushing yeah. 40. But I don't look like I'm pushing 40. <laughs> I for sure look like I'm pushing 40. No. For sure, for sure. But it never gets <laughs> Go crazy! Yeah! <laughs> okay, 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 thank you. Thank you. I probably don't look it right now, so I'm gonna put the camera right here. But I've been called a Barbie at least three times today. Everyone's called me pretty. And my little cousin told me I look like a goddess. Charger. Are you listening, TT? You have it a lot. So we're the, Kia and honestly going on the, the TV, newer right? charger. But so you're listen, right so, so you uh, said you have a sorry. You so, said you have okay. a different one. So it and Rashi starts laughing, talking about he said that he said that he was just in shame. He she just started saying good stuff. Y'all not even from? rebels. Y'all are grizzlies. Look, I worked very hard on this, Zaya. You? you did that? Yeah. I thought Dink did it. No, Dink just glued on these and she said she did it. Dink, why did. Like, y'all see this? This like, hard work oh, I did. Wait. Dink, do you have an edge brush? Why do y'all keep. Do I do hair? Yes. Come on, I don't do right. hair. Come on, My phone camera. is dead. What? Uh, with the dress? What? A with the yeah, no. where are they? Because I'm, I'm a little bored. Muscle. There's some of them with tattoos that look your age. I'm too. ready to flirt. You ready oh, to your flirt? phone. Oh, your car doesn't charge. Doesn't do that when it's okay. Dink's I want to play my song. Can my phone connect off of the thing? Dink's ready to flirt. It? So let's go. Dink's ready to flirt. And it is. I'm bored. What's up? There's so many of them. I can't Who stand this charger. Do you want some guys? I thought you didn't have no more. I don't even like sour stuff for sure. It's not me, sour me, 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 me. Thank y'all. No, we need to play some. I just like the packaging. Two, I'm 29. She's getting older and older. Right? She's aging while she's in the back seat. <laughs> All right. This isn't the best lighting, but whatever. And I'm in a car because there's no way in hell I could get this done in there but it is a nice day i've graduated 
I have no more graduation. Four graduations and I just want to sit here and reflect. I don't know where to start. I don't want to speak for hella long because I do have work tomorrow and I should be washing clothes. Well, I think that man is staring at me. But it's okay. Let him have his moment. I want to speak about college as a whole. First, I like to say, it, he's gonna come over and talk to me, I think. Please don't talk to me. College as a whole, from community college all the way to university, from a CC to a CSU, was very difficult. Not a single year of any schooling was easy for me, but let's talk specifically college. College was hard as fuck. I have this demon that I share blood to that has been taunting me not only since college but since I could fucking remember since I could walk and talk has been taunting me for my whole fucking life fuck her but it's not about her um but I will say when I was attending my CC I came home one day and there was condiments on my floor for no good fucking reason just cuz uh, we're not on bad girls club but anyways um yeah fuck her once again for making my life hard for no good fucking reason um men trash but they didn't they, mm, they didn't get to me really until this semester yeah college has been super super please do not walk up to me do not walk to me college has been super 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 hard I've been on, this may be all over the place, it may be hella hard for me to edit, but I've been on honor roll since high school, basically. I ain't never dropped that shit. You know, once you've been reading above your level, you know, your whole life and shit, it's kind of expected for you to be on honor roll and all that. During college, I lost a lot. I lost a lot of friends. I lost people close to me. I've lost two family members you don't realize how much people mean to you until you don't have them anymore you don't realize how much people mean to you are you trying to find a part two because you're gonna be mad as fuck with your high beams on they don't know which lights to put on sometimes you don't realize how much people mean to you and how much they've affected you and how much they've shaped you into the person i'm getting emotional the person you've become until you no longer have them anymore, until you can't hear their voice anymore and all that. I'd say when my cousin died, when I was at my CC, I feel like a whole part of me died because she actually played a huge part in my childhood and me being so super family oriented and loving my family and all that. You know, she is the reason, part of the reason why I have such a deep connection to Oakland, which I hope this isn't TMI, but which is also the city I was born in. You know, that's where my family was. That is, that's me. Like uh, such a huge part of me is in that city because of her and the rest of my family and our barbecues and fuck 4th of July, but 4th of July link ups and fireworks and the red, <laughs> and the red, I'm almost a popsicle truck. The red ice cream truck and all that, like, all of that is a part of me. And I feel like all of that left when she left. I'm getting sad as shit. But uh, yeah, I lost my cousin when I was still at my CC. Because it's my college vlog, I really have to like go into detail without like making this whole long. In the midst of my college career, the very beginning, when I was 18, okay, 2019, I moved hella fucking times during my first three years of college. Every city I moved to moved further and further and further and further and further from the damn school, but I still went to school. I still kept my grades up. I was on time. I didn't really miss classes like that. I was on my shit still even being hella fucking far from the school. Let's see, there's a man that I was down the fuck bad for. I'll never do that shit again, ever. Love him though, you know, that's gang. Hope he's doing well, for real, I fuck with him. Look at the 
You go to the beams. They got the beams on again. I moved hella times. Ask anyone who knows me personally. I moved hella times during the first. Actually, fuck, fuck the beginning. I've moved my entire college career. I moved here after my first year at my university. And now I'm finna move again. I'm trying to be by myself, but me and God, we're still working on that. I've changed so much. I gained so many experiences. I've never, to my knowledge, I've never belonged to a group. Like I've never had such a big community of people that I, I could relate to, that I could talk to and share interests with or just giggle with. People I could work with or go out with. Like I've never had that before until I've gotten to college. And I love all my people. Oh, there's also this like page that I wrote in my journal that I, I don't mind sharing with y'all. I will read it once I get in the house, but after I put my clothes in the washing machine because I need to put, a, I need to get the fuck, get this shit on the road for real, on the road, whatever fuck. However the saying is, I need to do that shit. But let's talk more recently. I moved out for the first time to live on campus in San Francisco and I feel like my everything changed once I went to San Francisco and I mean everything inside and outside. I also got sexy. I, you know, people, a lot of people can't relate to that. A lot of people can't get bigger and be sexy. Like a lot of people. I know there's little girls, like skinny girls trying to get bigger, but I mean to like already, like to already be big and then you get more big and you get sexier as you get more, how the fuck does, blessings 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 i probably wasn't filming i'm all over the place when i have stepped outside of my car to check my wheels because i want my wheels to be straight when i parallel park i look like i opened my car door and i walked up a little to check my tires and somebody in front of me opened their car they're like you think i'm trying to fight you or some shit you think i'm trying to fight you bitch look at the inside of my car this shit is pink I don't do no fighting, bitch. That's raggedy. All this, this sharp pain shit I got going on. I met black people. I'm so not used to being so around so many black. Not to say that I went to HBCU or nothing. Like, clearly, I said I went to a CSU. Not an HBCU, a CSU. So it wasn't that many black people. And I found some black people. I found me some black Greeks. And I feel like my voice just cracked. I'm not used to being around so many black people that aren't my family. I only lived around every fucking body else but black people. Like, I really didn't have the... My black friends, my sister, my friend who became my sister, that's my black friend. Am I missing somebody? There's my a few of my friends from, um, from high school. There's them, but like a whole, like, <laughs> being surrounded by hella black people that's not your family, I wasn't used to that. So that happened when I got to my CSU. A lot of great things happened at my CSU. I developed a community as I did at my CC, but larger, wider. There was, at my CC, it was only people in theater. That's basically who I was connecting with. But at my CSU, I was connecting with all different types of people, all different types of backgrounds, pursuing all different types of things. Yeah, here come, where, why the fuck do they put on these high beams? You looking for a park too, baby? I can't help you. Don't you look in here? Y'all saw how y'all saw how fucking right that shit is. They finna do a U-turn, baby. That's not my fault. You should get that that big motherfucker and put it in the garage. Also, there's no fucking where to park over here. I hate it. While I was attending my CSU, crazy things happened. I was in two car accidents. I've never been in a car accident in my life. I was in two car accidents. The car that was supposed to be given or passed down to me got fucking totaled. That happened. The evil bitch that I brought up earlier, she was trying to fight me. The same day, I got in a car accident. And you know how you're supposed to be sitting the fuck down after you get into a car accident? I got my ass up and took my ass back to San Francisco. That's dangerous as shit, but that's how my, that's how much I don't fuck around. I'm going, I could be bleeding the fuck out. I'm getting the fuck up. Nobody's finna fuck with me. I'm not finna be fucked with. I'd rather be bleeding out by my lonely than be with somebody that's making my situation worse. Oh, I was sick as fuck in San Francisco. Me and my immune system do not fuck with San Francisco at all. I just, I can't fuck with San Francisco 
like that. I I don't get down like that. I really don't. I think those two car accidents both happened my second semester of my CSU because that transferred obviously. My last two semesters of my CSU have actually been held. And I feel like this is most important for me to talk about because I've clearly gotten through it and was able to finish school despite everything. And I'll try not to cry. My last fall semester, which is like 2003, 2003, 2023 um, was hard. It was difficult. You know, I wasn't living on campus anymore. So I was traveling over an hour every single day to get to campus the days that I think I was probably going to campus three days out the week and working in whole different like cities. Like I'm working in different cities, going to school in different cities and I live in a whole other fucking city. Like I'm really ripping and running. Oh gosh, yeah. Next thing you know, I'm trying to wash clothes. Damn, we got two cars, girl. We got two cars. Good for her. Anyway, um, I hope she wasn't doing it nasty. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here go Mr. High Beamer again, shining up the damn street. If a fine black man owns that car, I will strut down this bitch cute as fuck but anyways i'm getting off track was y'all doing the nasty i can't think of any other reason why she would get out that car let me not <laughs> let me not do that to them well i mean it is a anyway um basically to sum it up or to get to the point my mother's daughter attacked me wrongfully as fuck and I won't get into detail with that because y'all are not my therapist. Here goes some more bright ass lights. Nope. Watch, I want y'all to look. Just just look over my shoulder and see how fucking bright this shit is. Look. Yeah, she attacked me like I was a fucking stranger. And this is very, very important. For me to talk about because i want y'all to know that i was dealing with this all of this while trying to finish my last couple months up of school she attacked me she scratched my face she had my face bleeding and what i will tell y'all what i will tell y'all is i was washing clothes i was washing clothes and she wanted to wash clothes the same time i was washing clothes and just some crazy ass shit that I have to bring up in therapy. There's no way I can be a functioning adult in society without therapy. I just know I can't do it. So when I tell y'all, don't ask me what, I, what my plans are after graduation because I'm going to tell you I need therapy. Don't say, don't say nothing to me. Just say congrats, I'm so proud of you. You worked so hard, you persevere, you are that bitch and move along because I have nothing else more to tell you other than I need therapy, okay? I have to deal with that. That really broke my heart because I'm so fucking family oriented, even if I don't fuck with people. But I wasn't even trying to be petty or nothing. I don't give a fuck about her enough to even try and plot on her and no stupid shit like that. We're in the same house. What good would that do me? You know? That's dumb. That was just wrong as shit. Like, I have to go to school. And this was probably, I believe, there's a random dog what this what is going on out here this was during my thanksgiving break or winter break i had to deal with that and that real life broke my heart because i had to go to campus with a bunch of scratches and holes and missing skin and blood and all that shit on my face I actually had to miss a few classes because of it. Very fucked up to do to somebody. And that shit really hurt me. Like I was on the train on my way to school those days just crying hard as fuck. I actually broke down in front of my professor and my classmates one day. 
and she told me I could just go home and I have never done that before like I've never just sat up and cried hold on and when I went to class like afterward it's like everybody felt my and like I just shifted the entire fucking room and I felt so bad afterwards it's like I just brought down the energy I was so fucked up and hurt that's all you could feel on me and in the midst of that I was at school and I got a call from my mom and she told me that my auntie passed away hold on and this is November she told me my auntie passed away and I left school and I ended up staying with my grandma for a couple of days I was like, I'm grieving my auntie and this fucked up shit. That my, oh my God, I got snot in my nose. I'm trying to grieve my auntie and I'm thinking about all of that. All of this is happening all at the same time. I'm very fucked up inside, but I'm still getting up and I'm still working on shows and I'm still doing assignments and all of that. It's not even just my mama's daughter. It's not even just my auntie passing away. It was shit that was happening in the summer. It was just like, shit was just fucking with me the whole time like entering fucking um my last two semesters at my csu was hard during it was hard the day that my mama called me about my auntie i knew i already had so much stress on my body and mind that if i didn't get my feelings out immediately that i could burst or something that was going to happen to me like i just felt like i just something bad was going to happen if i don't get it out so i ended up writing my auntie this like letter and then later on i ended up reading it at her funeral and i cried while i was reading it but the fucked up part is i cried way less at my auntie's funeral than i did when my sister attacked me i won't even say i was getting over that but I was handling it, you know, as time progressed, I was just handling it. It was still inside me. It still fucked with me. I didn't talk, you know, it, it still fucked with me. It still fucks with me, but just less. And while I was healing or trying to heal or just move along somehow, I try, you know, I was still very, very stressed out because it was still on my heart. It was, it was still in me. So I just wanted to like decompress because it's like, I'm very fucking sad, very fucking hurt. And I have to do assignments and I have to go to work. I have to keep going. It's like, I can't sit down and I can't deal with any, anything. I just have to keep going. So I was doing that and I just really needed a break. I saw that my friends were putting on this play in San Francisco. So I bought tickets to the play, you know, but I realized it was on the day that I had to go to work, so I couldn't go. I already had bought the ticket, but I couldn't go. So I bought the ticket for the next day, which was after work. So I had a plan to like get up the next day and have a little solo day and go um, see this play. Um, the day comes, I go get on the train I brought my dog with me because I knew it'd be like late at night we're not even gonna decode that we not even be like well why'd you think a dog because she's my emotional support animal I'm not just saying that she's legally federally registered service support animal anyway as soon as I got off the escalator this guy comes and I don't really feel like getting into this whole story again because if you got me on Instagram, you saw it and there's no need for me to relive that shit. But I got attacked by a stranger this time because I didn't want to flirt with him or I wasn't giving him the energy he wanted. I called the police and the police left me on that corner for pushing 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Mind you, while I was getting it, I, I, let me not relive it. Let me not relive it. Just know I got attacked. There was no immediate help. There was not even, even fucking help when the police finally came. There was no help at all. I'm telling you to this day, I have a case number. I didn't get like, no one, you know, it wasn't shit. It wasn't shit. Just imagine already having that fucked up trauma of someone close to you 
putting their hands on you. And then a few months later, a stranger does it to you. And you just have in your head that both of them had the same evil ass look in their eye and they had the same hatred for you that was uncalled for in both of them, saw you as nothing. That really fucks with you, or me at least. Hold on. That really fucked with me. It still fucks with me. It still haunts me. Both of those situations just, they just lay on my heart. They still do. So, yeah, I just still get up and do shit. Still go to work, still do assignments. And it's like, how? imagine having to tell your professors multiple fucking times that you can't do something or you're not going to make it to something because you've been attacked. It's just, I had all of that on my heart and on my mind and my spirit. And I still had to get up and keep going. And to my surprise, a lot of people, um, no shade to them, a lot of people didn't expect me to be graduating, which is wild. A lot of prayer. And luckily, thankfully, blessfully, after the man attacked me, I was able to get this car. Um, so that's a blessing. I'm exiting college with a car that's mine and another degree that's mine, all due to the hard work of me. So I just want to close this off. I might keep fucking talking because I'm just a yapper. If I can get through all of this and still make it, so can you because this was hell and maybe it's just me and my stubbornness and my go 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 no matter fucking what attitude but if i can keep going you can keep going alrighty okay i love every single person that loves and support me it meant a lot to me to have all the people show up for me and give me flowers and tell me that they're proud of me and uh cheer for me and all that all these graduations i love everybody who gets in their car and starts their engine and put uses their gas or whatever to come and fuck with me thank you so much i love you there's so much i can do there's so much you can do and uh somebody's getting out the car and i don't want them to see me crying so thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much i hate to end this in cheers but it's kind of like, yeah, we did it. Cheers. Love you. I want to shout out my auntie. I hope she's resting. I hope she's super proud of me because when I told her I was going to college, she was so happy. She was so proud. And I'm hoping I'm making her proud still. Okay, it's the next day. I forgot to read the page out of my journal. If you see my hair looks a mess, don't say nothing because... I'm going to say you hate women. Just a bad bitch who has bad days. March 27th, 2024. And I titled this Life in College. My youngest nephew, Micah, was born hours after I had gotten out of school. I came for his home birth. I heard his first cry. This is true. Straight as soon as I came back from one of my, from like one of the, as soon as I came back from school, at my CC, I came to my brother's house to, for my nephew's home birth, and I was on the couch being a fat ass, ordering DoorDash, and I heard him cry from the bedroom. So, special. I moved a total of six times throughout my college career, and that's not including my move to San Francisco. I've gone out of state for the first time. I visited new parts of California. I've made the most friends I've ever made in my life in college. I've gotten my first tattoo. I've performed on stage many times, actually. Wow. The stage has been touched by me. That's crazy. I've gone to big concerts and events. I started a business. I got a new doggy. Shout out to Dolce, my emotional support animal. I've had my first photo shoots. I've gone to a fashion show. I've been the most happy and heartbroken while in college. 
I've learned that with God and in life, absolutely anything is possible. I learned endurance and resilience. I learned about others and myself. And I got, I guess that's it. If you're new here, I bet you peep that I am indeed a transformer. I put that shit on. <laughs> I does it the fuck up. I does it the fuck up. I does it the fuck up. I wish I could go back and like talk to middle school me and like tell her everything that I've done and accomplished. I'd be emotional. She would think I'm cool as fuck. She would love me. Like if I went and told her that our favorite singer knows us by name, um, loves us as much as we love her, and actually provided our graduation hair. Fuck. She wouldn't believe that. Oh, by the way, I want to shout out my friend. I'll shout out my friend who painted that. One of the Zetas. Her name is Isis. Shout out Isis. Love you, Isis. Okay, now I'm going to leave. Bye.